with the influx of budget level action cameras producing rich 4K quality content, GoPro are seemingly trying to recapture the budget level market. Although is it too little too late for the newest camera in the range, the 2018 GoPro Hero. This isn't GoPro's first stab at the budget market, they've tried it with earlier models and this newest version, although very similar in looks to their flagship Hero 6, is still priced above many competing budget cameras at $200. Just like other GoPro cameras in the range, there's not much in the box either. Other than a couple of adhesive mounts and a USB charging sync cable, there's nothing else included. Which is a shame considering many budget cameras half the price include a handful of mounting hardware to get you up and running straight away. Nevertheless, visually the 2018 GoPro Hero is pretty much identical to the Hero 6 or the Hero 5 before it. We keep that slightly ruggedized rubbery exterior and built-in waterproofing to 10 meters without the need for a separate case. Buttons are in identical locations as are all doors and ports, nothing new to see here. There's still dual microphones with stereo capture too. Even the battery is identical which means all those spares you may have picked up for your Hero 5 or 6 will work with the newer model just the same. These similarities are good news if you've picked up any Hero 5 or 6 mounts, even third party gimbals, although note that the Hero is not compatible with GoPro's own Karma drone or Karma grip, which is a shame considering the stabilisation in the Hero isn't that great, more on that later. Otherwise the rear screen is also identical with a similar menu structure which is well laid out and very easy to use anyway. Menu navigation is smooth with sleek animations and snappy response all round and yes, the Hero still supports voice controls too if you're into that kind of thing. Inside is where things deviate. That custom GP1 chip that made its debut with the Hero 6 is missing from this budget model, meaning performance has been cut quite drastically, although making the camera much easier to use for those who just want to pick up and shoot. Video resolution tops out at 1440p, although 1080p at 60 frames per second is more likely the most sweet spot for this unit. And photo quality drops from 12 megapixel and 30 frames per second in burst mode down to 10 megapixel and 10 frames per second in burst. Even the two-year-old Hero 5 can do much better in this regard. In fact, cameras like the Yi 4K produce 4K capture or higher frames per second at lower resolutions, yet cost less than this Hero. Also missing are all of the more advanced level features such as HDR photo, touch zoom, even ProTune are all gone, resulting in a much cut down, very simple version of GoPro's flagship aimed at those who want the very basics to pick up and shoot without having to worry about setting up to get the best results. And talking of results, video quality is what GoPro do best and the Hero performs perfectly well in this regard. Even though it lacks that GP1 chip, colours are bright and vibrant and dynamic range is still rather good, resulting in better exposure in both dark and bright conditions. It doesn't react as quickly as the Hero 6 of course, resulting in some blowouts here and there, but for its price point it performs really well. Note though, as with the GoPro Hero 6, the Hero 2018 has the exposure lock feature. This works by holding your finger down on the screen for a couple of seconds. Once the exposure box appears you can then shift the point of exposure around the screen. On to stabilisation though, the Hero 6 had fantastic image stabilisation, almost gimbal like, whereas the Hero shares the stabilisation features found in the Hero 5. Not too great so expect shaky capture if hand holding the device. More concerning is the lack of support with GoPro's own gimbal system, the Karma Grip. So you'll need to look at a third party solution if smooth capture is what you're after. Otherwise you do get some rather basic modes to play with including burst mode, albeit at only 10 frames per second, and video and photo time lapse modes, all pretty basic stuff. Audio quality accompanies video with decent levels of capture, as with any action camera it's not this unit's strong point though. Enough to complement the video and get a feel for the surroundings, but if audio is important to you you'll want to consider external solutions. And by external I mean completely external. This budget GoPro does not accept an external microphone using GoPro's own 3.5mm adapter, so it's the audio captured by the camera or none at all. Another disappointment. Low light capture isn't brilliant either, although we should expect that by now considering that's part of the parcel with such small sensors. Despite the cut down features and lack of advanced options though, the overall handling of the Hero 2018 is as good as the Hero 6 Black. 
The more limited options make it far more streamlined than any other GoPro, which in turn makes it almost entirely foolproof, although that may not be appreciated as much by more advanced users. From a battery standpoint, you'll get just over two hours shooting from a fully charged battery unit, which is quite respectable when compared with the competition. The other good news is the batteries are the same too, which also means third party batteries are the same. I've already tested various third party solutions with no issues, and they're a heck of a lot cheaper. Carry a few of these around and you'll be ready to shoot for most of the day. Of course we have the wireless connectivity too, albeit for smartphones only and not for GoPro's smart remote or the Remo voice activated remote, and I had no problems with connectivity throughout testing. It's rock solid and works perfectly well, controlling all aspects of the camera as we'd expect. Although there seems to be a touch more lag than with the Hero 6, which is almost instantaneous. Another point to note here is the lack of the 5GHz band introduced with the Hero 6 making downloading video or images to your smartphone or tablet much slower than the flagship GoPro. It's clear to see where the company is going with the GoPro Hero. It's a very basic entry level camera with simple to use features. It also has the GoPro tried and tested solid construction with its built in waterproofing and fantastic rear display. No issues there at all. Its capture quality is typical GoPro, bright, vibrant and full of life. Unlike previous GoPro models, there is a lack of adjustability over the image quality though, no options for sharpness, contrast or colour, and there's no Pro Tune. In fact, nothing more advanced at all, but for those after the very basics, this ticks all the right boxes. More disappointing is the lack of any 4K shooting capability which competing budget cameras can provide, and even more disappointing is no compatibility with the GoPro Karma Grip. While I can accept the omission of 4K video, the incompatibility with the Karma Grip is a little harder to swallow, especially considering the Hero doesn't have the great stabilisation of the Hero 6. If you need that 4K capture and want some more advanced level options ready for when you want to play with them though, then the Yi 4K is cheaper, yet offers a whole host of extra features too. In fact, the Yi Lite is less than half the price of a GoPro Hero and offers more features in direct comparison. Even so, if you're after an extremely easy to use action camera or for those who need a reliable, solid unit for capturing action and adventures, the GoPro Hero is an excellent choice. It's waterproof down to 10 meters without the need for a housing, it has a responsive touch screen, it's easy to use and above all else, records great quality footage. 